hey y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel uh as you can see it's wash day i got on my wash day shirt i got an aloe vera plant leaf um but i do not have a blender i am not that much of an adult yet to have an appliance such as a blender um so let's go find us a blender and then we're gonna see what we can do with this let's go just in case y'all didn't know um a little thing that goes by the name of seasonal depression has been already kicking my ass. Um, it gets dark here. Girl, I got all this change falling out. It gets dark here around seven o'clock-ish now, and my body feels every bit of that. Um, the other day I went to bed at maybe like eight o'clock. So that's just a moment of transparency for y'all. Um, you know, starting this YouTube channel, I never thought, I didn't think about that. I didn't think that, oh, Alicia, you're going to have to do this even when you feel bad or even when you don't feel good. So, work with me as I work with myself as we work through my problems. But right now, I can't tell if it's about to rain or if it's just getting dark outside. Um... But if you, like I said, if you haven't looked into seasonal depression, look into it. Because it's a real thing. And even though it might not affect you, it affects your friends. It affects somebody, you know. That was just my PSA for the, for, for the ride. That's all you get for the ride. Little longer than a few minutes Take later. Ooh, baby. You get the right food. all exposed. Ooh, child. Give it back. Mm -mm. Yeah. I feel like it's, I feel like it should be like a serrated edge knife, or should it? I think it should. <laughs> definitely me. You <laughs> <laughs> <She's> definitely <laughs> right. Like, <laughs> at this point, I just want to take this time to, to shout out my friends. Uh, any little idea I come up with to do anything, they always right there being super supportive. So thank you. Just like some wop. <laughs> <laughs> wop. I would just been gave up. Let me go ahead and put it in my hands. My hands be soft. Girl. It's nice soap. Look at this. Talking about the aloe vera? Like, mm, that I need then. You know what you're doing? Nope. Okay, so, so I, I need to do what it need, how I need to, what's the consistency? Just blend. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I need some blades. <laughs> <laughs> We are back. It is now day two. I was supposed to do all this stuff yesterday, but I'm on break from work. So I'm just going to go ahead and wash my hair. This video is not going to be all lit and bright like how the other videos are, but y'all going to stick at the point. Let's go. So to make wash day a little easier for me, I detangle my hair and part it off into two sections. Um, This is how I wash it. For shampoo, I use the Classic Clean Pantene Pro-V. Can y'all leave some comments of some good clarifying shampoos for natural hair? Because this is what I use. It works for me. The only other thing I'm going to use is a Moo I got from my grandma. Because <laughs> it's soft. It's that soft material.
I like to wash my hair in the sink because that's my business. I be seeing people get drugged on Twitter by washing their hair in the kitchen sink. Where else am I going to wash it at? Um, I thoroughly clean it out afterwards with bleach and um, comment. So, well, not comment. I guess it would be like 405, whatever that stuff is. Or CLR. I think it's CLR. I think 405 is... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> But since my hair takes a long time to get wet, it also takes a long time to get dry. I like to part my hair into sections to make sure that the water is getting distributed throughout my entire scalp because the top of my hair will be wet and then the, the my scalp will still be bone dry. But I have to make sure I make ways for the water to get to my scalp. Now this is very much my hair. After I wash it, of course, like I said, I dry it with, um, and I don't even dry it. I just get the excess water out with a, um, it's not even cotton. It's some kind of other fabric, but it's very, very soft because my hair is just very, very different. Um, so I don't use regular towels. Now I'm going to apply the aloe vera. I actually mixed a little sunflower oil and a lot of olive oil to it because this is all I'm using for conditioner. Um, so let's get into it. So as you can see, this is how my hair looks with the aloe vera on side and then how it looks without it. Matter of fact, while we're sitting here talking, I'm going to put some more right here. It just feels like this needs a little bit extra. All right. So now that this is drenched, I'm going to do the other side and then we're going to sit up under a cap till I get done seeding. So this is how I look while I deep condition my hair. The only thing I have on it is the aloe vera with the sunflower oil and the olive oil. I'm about to go get in the shower after I answer about four emails to make it look like I'm still working. And then we will reconvene. Let's get done washing out the conditioner and showering. Now I just have that same um, mumu that I had um, to dry my hair off. Catching all the excess water, I'm about to... Um, do the LOC method, which is leave-in oil cream or liquid oil cream, whichever one you do. I already did um, the oil, so I'm going to do the leave-in, and I think I'm going to do a braid out. So I'm going to finish work, and then I'm going to braid it out because by that time it should be a little more manageable. Extremely annoying shift later. I have set up and done my braids. It is 117. If these are dry by the morning which will be Thursday morning, which I post on Thursday at 12 o'clock. Maybe they'll be dry, maybe they won't. I love working from home, P.S., because I need to do a whole bunch of everything and be on the clock. If anybody that works with me is watching this, I ain't just say that. But let's just hope these bad babies dry. As you can see back here, my hair is a lot longer. Um, Really, that's my whole head. The shrinkage is just really real. I will say... Takeaways from using the aloe vera. My hair was a lot softer. Um, and it felt it felt moisturized. But we're going to see when I take these uh, braids down. <clears throat> if I take them down. I have something to do on Sunday. So I need, I wanted it to be fresh. So um, if I, if I don't take them down, I'll just come back right after this clip and let y'all know I didn't take them down. But I'll let you know how my hair feels after it's dry. And if I do take it down, you get a chance to see. Either way, check out my Instagram, which will be somewhere down here. I never get it right. Um, and you can see the pictures. I'll post pictures of how it turned out. So I decided to come out for an afternoon stroll. Um, one second. I'll stay up here. Um, just to help my hair along with the drying process, I don't like to sit under the dryer um, to dry because that's how I I would much rather just let it air dry. But as y'all can see, it's I, my, I be putting a lot of product on there, but that's because my hair is so thick, it takes a lot to get wet and it takes a lot to dry. So I did these 
no particular size but really for the most part medium to um like medium to medium large size braids hopefully when i get out here and get around for a little while um it'll dry down the time is currently my thing says 4 16 but And it's already like it, it looks wintry. It, it looks like it's about to start getting dark. You know, let's just hope I got enough energy to get like a mile and a half in. Um, and maybe my hair will get dry by then, or maybe it won't. We're gonna see. my run it decides to start raining um, i'm kind of taking shelter underneath the tree but i think i'm about to start jogging I'm almost back to my car i've been walking for 36 minutes i'm at a mile and 93 mini miles i don't i guess it would be millimeters but i like to call them mini miles the rain is coming down nobody expected this i did so so much for trying to dry my hair Looks like it's just more wet. Turn into a full-on vlog. So now that it's raining, I'm gonna just go ahead and make my weekly trip to Alicia Go This Way Girl. Um, now that it's decided to start raining, I'm going to make my weekly trip to Trader Joe's um, and y'all will come along with me. The way the devil works, as soon as I got in this car, it stopped raining. Is that the Holy Spirit telling me maybe I don't need to be trying to work out? Maybe I'm fine the way I am? Because I'll take it. I will take it. <sighs> Let's just hope Trader Joe's ain't crowded because I will scoop, scoop right up out of there real quick. Because those people, those people do not care about waiting in line in the rain. However, this girl cares. All right, so let's, let's get it. Once again, I have no list. We just going with the vibes. I'm about to spend, I'm about to run up a check on my credit card. So you know I said Trader Joe's, but Whole Foods, same thing. Wait, are people waiting to go in? Because if so, it's not gonna be Whole Foods either. Hmm, Alicia, you can't just step in the middle of these folks. They ain't like you. White man walking out of Whole Foods without a mask on. White man walking into Whole Foods without a mask on. At this point, I feel like people are not wearing masks just so they can have that attention. I think they've been writing down their um, rebuttals if somebody was to come at them. <clears throat> Y'all got the right one because I'm not saying nothing to you. I'm going in here and before I even go. Give me a little, little hit of this. I don't have time to be arguing. 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 I don't have time for it. Because you want to argue. You want to argue. I don't have time for that. Alicia going to put on her hand sanitizer. She's going to put on her mask. Hopefully, it's going to be on the right way. And we're going to go in here with a grocery shop. Everybody scrapped up? Y'all strapped up? All right, let's go. First things first, I love these little wellness shots that Whole Foods does, um, but I do have to check the carbs because sometimes um, some of the fruits that they have are very high in natural sugars, which will make the carbs just as high, and that's what I don't want, okay? to try some sea bass i've never had it but of course i'm gonna throw it in the air fryer i love the myers dish soap um they got a new set for the fall so of course i had to grab some of these Sugar-free syrup for my waffles. And I found a recipe for some um, chocolate chip cookies, but these are very low in carbs, so I think I'm going to try these with them. Mm. 
So I only want to hold whole foods for a few things. I wanted to um make some keto cookies, which I do not need. And I wanted to make some um I like to snack on like pecans and peanuts and cashews and almonds. So um, I like to go to Whole Foods and get them because you can just get them bulk. And it's less processing. It's just basically you put them in your own bag or you put them in the bag they give you. But it's like, I could buy them in a can, girl, but I just feel bougie when I buy them like that. Um, but it don't take long for you to run up a check in Whole Foods. Those little juice shots that I bought, I think were like two or three ninety nine a pop, and that's one. That's one shot of juice. That's one shot. And where I'm, where I'm from, you could buy a whole thing of juice for three ninety nine. You know, so it's a little. Huh. Um. Other than that, what else did I get? I got the the juice shots. I only needed a few things out of there. I don't really go in there for much. Um, alkaline water stuff. I didn't show. I was trying to get some. Halo Top Keto ice cream. They didn't have any. I don't know what's up with that. Um, but Whole Foods had a lot of good stuff for keto. Those Lilies, um, chocolate, semi-sweet chocolate bacon chips are always good. Please let me through here. Yeah, so those Lilies uh bacon chips are good. Um, what else is good? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? I got some sriracha sauce, I'm, and I got some, um, I got that sea bass. I've never had sea bass, but I imagine you really can't go wrong with it. I'm going to put it in the air fryer, which is what I do with everything else. Um, and then, I think that's all I got out of there. But if you could take a wild guess, guess how much I spent? Too damn much. So now, I'm on the way to get my niece um, from my sister and she'll spend a couple of days with me since I work from home and she's doing um, school from home. I've made the decision, the executive one, that I'm not taking down my braids. So y'all just have to follow me on Instagram to see the final touches because I have somewhere to go Sunday and I'm not taking this down and it's raining and it's humid. I'm just gonna let this fully dry. Y'all know how y'all hair be when, do we have on a Nacho Libre mask? I'm not taking these braid these plaits down until I know for a fact that they're dry. Those finance calls I gotta be on, they're gonna see me in full plaid garb. But uh until then, whatever. I feel like y'all have done enough with me today. Y'all have spent like two days with me. Y'all have sat with me through work, even though it didn't feel like it because you probably were like, Alicia, were you ever really working? I swear I work, but it's so much easier working from home because it's, it's what is time what what is time anymore what is time no such thing as time it's just you wake up you click on a computer you do that for a little while you go eat you do that for a little while you watch tv if they ever made us go back to the office i probably would throw his fit because it's, there's so much freedom in working from home i now see what everybody was talking about you got to have discipline to work from home you do, but I feel like as long as I'm not late to work and I still do my job, I'm all right. I can do whatever in the middle. I don't have nobody watching me. It's all good. But back to what my initial point. Y'all uh, was with me yesterday when I went to cut the aloe vera, blend it. I got it ready for today. Today, I washed my hair, conditioned it with the aloe vera. Results are, so far, it feels softer. Um, I used the wet line extreme gel, which I know I told y'all I wasn't gonna use no more, but I used I used it because it, it keeps my hair stretched. Um the Eco Style gel shrivels my hair back up, but that wet line gel keeps it keeps it stretched. So I like that about it. Now as far as the hole, that's why I'm not taking these down yet. Um what else? <sighs> y'all went walking with me till we got rained out. And then y'all went to Whole Foods with me. I think that's more than enough. That's more that's what I do for the whole week. And then considering that they just dropped um, the verdict for Breonna Taylor's um, killers, I'm just really not in the mood to do nothing else but go home and find something to eat and not watch TV, but maybe watch, maybe just like disconnect because I know if I get on any form of social media, I'm going to be enraged all over again. So shout out to self-care. That's it for me. Y'all take care of yourselves. I'm gonna go pick up this little munchkin 
you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up go ahead and subscribe i didn't say that earlier because i figured by now if you're watching this maybe you maybe you will have you know maybe um also leave some comments of other things that i could get from whole foods that don't cost a whole lot of money that's why they call it whole foods whole foods whole lot of money on food so until then y'all just make the best out of what you got okay all right i love y'all and see y'all later peace